Hi, welcome to the Roman Mansion. My name is Brian. Hi, Hi Brian. Brian. The home was built in 1869. This is the original parlor. There was an addition made in 1900. It's all original woodwork here. Uh, it's the late home of Julia Scott Roman. Her parents, Matthew and Julia, moved in here uh, just after it was built in 1869. And Julia lived here until 1981. Wow, that's amazing. Beautiful place. Thank you. Can we see some more? Absolutely. All right. Go. We're currently in the safe room. This is the original family safe. It was put in just after the addition in 1900. Matthew T. Scott, the original owner, owned about 40,000 acres of farmland. When he passed away, the widow, Mrs. Ma Matthew T. Scott, and Julia, she took over the family business and had the safe put in this home uh, because it was a time when women couldn't even vote, but she became a prominent businesswoman in Bloomington. Uh, her daughter, Julia, is pictured here. Julia Jr. lived here in this room until 1981, and she was 104 when she passed away. Fascinating. We have the original family crests in the Ingle Nook, a waiting area for our guests. I'll take you up the grand staircase here. These are hand-carved spindles. This is all hand plain wood. It's part of the, the uh, 1900 edition. And you can see the original stained glass here. Very beautiful. This staircase has now become our bridal house. Well, that wedding is beautiful here. Absolutely. Julia would make her grand entrance here, uh, come down the staircase to greet her guests. I bet there's quite a story behind these stained glass windows. There is. <laughs> this is the women's library. You can see pictures of the original owners, Matthew and Julia Scott. And this library is just outside the master's chamber. It's the largest of five original guest rooms. Let me show you the rest of them. All right. Welcome to your private sitting room. This is the Carl Roman Suite. Carl served as the first of three assistant secretaries of agriculture under President Wilson, and this is his original roll top desk. He and Julia had separate bedrooms. They used to share a long bathroom, but this is now your private sit private bathroom with a claw foot tub. Oh, wow. And the bedroom's just through here. Let me show you. All right. We have Carl's original smoking stand here. <laughs> and there's also another original coal burning fireplace. And these rooms are all heated by original radiators. They're still functioning today. Gorgeous. Wow, is that steam heat? Yes, sir. Ha, huh, love it. I'd be happy to show you the carriage house. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. herbs for breakfast. This is the original carriage house. It's been refurbished. There's a couple of luxury suites up here. Ooh. Here are the grounds of the carriage house. We have a lovely wood-burning fireplace mm -hmm. and that's built with original limestone from the sidewalks. And we have a s'mores bar set up for you. Welcome to the original first floor of the carriage house. This has been completely refurbished by our current owner, Dana Kovaleski. He's put in this lovely staircase. There's a nice wood burning fireplace for you. He's laid this floor himself. And we also have some modern amenities. This is fantastic. This is one of our two luxury suites upstairs here in the carriage house. This is our king size suite called the Charlevoix Suite. It was named after the summer home that the Scots owned in Charlevoix, Michigan. Wow, I'm going to just lay down there. <laughs> private bathroom of the Charlevoix suite, your room for the night. This slate cut shower was inspired by the original slate roof of the carriage house. And the other owner, Dana's wife Pam, laid this floor herself. And in this room we also have a copper tub. Which I'm going to take a long soak in. This is our music room. You're welcome to play the piano if you'd like. I wish. As you can <laughs> see, there's a large grand hall here separated by pocket doors. Uh, this leads into the gentleman's library. You're welcome to browse through our books here. There's a door leading out to the side porch. Is this all original woodwork? It sure is. Wow. Wow. Pretty wow. luxurious for the day. And how many fireplaces are there? There's 11 coal burning fireplaces. Wow. Awesome. This room is our dining room. 
Beautiful. You'll be dining at the original dining room table. Eleanor Roosevelt dined here with Julia Scott. Very good. What year was that? Uh, that would have been in the early 1900s. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Good morning, Jeff and Monica. Good morning. I'd like to start you off with our fruit dish. This is our banana boat with our homemade <laughs> granola and our homemade whip topping. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. That is really cute. And I would like to complete your breakfast with our orange pepper and thyme frittata and our peach crepes. Yum. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. <laughs> this place is spectacular, isn't it? Oh my it? gosh, I can sit out on this porch all day. Anybody who sees this place is just going to be blown away. Hi, Jeff and Monica. Hey. Here's the fruit and cheese tray as part of the package you've ordered. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else I can get for you? I uh, you've been spectacular. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so Jeff. much. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> we will.